in the next lecture series of research methodology now we are discussing about the uses of the data and we will see different types of data also so as we know data is in gold a new gold which is nowadays present in the market itself and it is very much efficiently used by the data analyst for giving the better decisions for giving the better solutions to the problem which the users or the customers are having so talking about the domain areas there are different domain areas where the data can be used or utilized or in fact can be collected or can be gathered from there itself so some we had mentioned in this slide for example data in the business of course for the business purpose the data has been used data in the healthcare of course the data in the healthcare can also be used for the medical purposes for the covid vaccination for that data in media and entertainment data in transportation and data in banking that means data in media and entertainment for example for having uh, the we are having nowadays a netflix uh, or the youtube channels are there on the behalf of the interest area which person likes the which kind of videos or which kind of audio files or which kind of uh, um, songs he or she wants to uh, listen so this can be achieved through the data analysis through the uh through the analysis of the data that uh, that he wants to listen a uh, good music or a sad music or which uh, which kind of videos he or she wants to view that can also be done through the data analysis of the uh, applying different methods on that part data in the transportation of course for the transportation part also we can have the analysis for example we are dealing the roads uh, which pathway the uh, the people are preferring to move, to move from one place to the another what resources they are taking from moving from one place to the another how much the resources are effective is it is it bad giving bad impact or the good impact if it's bad impact then what are the the remedies we can provide for for getting the solution that the, the journey should be successful enough for that part and data in the banking sector of course banking is um, i had already given in the previous examples or previous um, lectures also that for example uh, we want to conclude that, uh, that whosoever are the people who are taking the loan from our bank so on the behalf of the past data present of the banking sector we can able to conclude that that the person having uh, the young uh, the person who wants to take the loan it may be the young it may be the senior citizen or it may be the uh the the youngish person it may be the salary decided by uh, the loan people may be 25000 and above 30000 and above or 40000 and above so the previous data we can have the analysis that which kind of people are purchasing loan frequently on the behalf of that we can judge that part okay now we are moving on to the segregation of more data the main forms of the data uh talking about the main forms of the data the two it is basically categorized in only in the two parts that is the primary part then and that is the primary data and the secondary data that is a two categorization of the data but yes data can also be categorized in further part also that is a cross sectional data or the categorical data or the time series data or the spatial data or the ordered data so i told you that uh, the first basic categorization is the primary data and the secondary data so what uh, the more for the categorization we can say of the data is categorized into two parts that is the qualitative data and the quantitative data qualitative data that means uh, as the name declares it is having the descriptions having the diagrams and the maps present in that and in quantitative we can have further more two categorization of that part it is the categorical and your numerical data it may be the nominal data or the ordinal data discrete data or the continuous data categories having the two partitioning nominal and ordinal numerical having the two partitioning that is a discrete area continuous variable so quantitative as the name says having the two categories categorical and numerical categorical means having certain categories for example talking about the age factor uh, the person is a senior citizen or he is a middle aged people or he is a young people so these are the certain categories we are declaring for the age part it may be the nominal it may be the ordinal similarly the numerical data can be discrete or the continuous discrete means we are not having the uh, changes in the in the date uh, changes in the numerical value but uh, talking about the continuous values that means the numerical value can get changed for example the age comes in the category of continuous because with the year the changes which been occurred it's fixed isn't it but the discrete is the values cannot be changed for example the weight of the 
apples uh, or the or the uh, the quantity of the milk it is whatever the um, amount it is we have to declare there itself that this is the amount for that part so that is your discrete value it is not comes under the category of the continuous value so we'll see one by one the categorization of the data as uh, we are talking about the primary data and the secondary data the first of all we will discuss about the primary data what is primary data primary data is an original and unique data which is directly collected by the researcher from the source according to his requirements so as the definition declares is that it is the original data of course it is original data as well as the unique data the two characteristics of primary data is it is the original one no modification has been done no manipulation has been done in that data and of course it is a unique data the uniqueness is present in that data which can or which is directly collected by the researcher whosoever want to do the research research is called the researcher and it will simply uh, try to collect that data it will not apply any processes for data or any manipulation of that data or any other um, any other technique is not uh, preferred for collecting the data it is mentioned it's directly collected by the researcher from a source according to his requirements for example i had given uh, the example in the previous uh, lectures also i want to collect the information of any of the student for example i want to know the 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 information about his or her family so instead of taking the information from individual person i'm i'm sharing a google form for the data collection so definitely the communication have, having with the face to face will give this the effective more results instead of having the communication on uh, on the on the google form so it will not give you the accurate or the proper results so definitely the researchers from the source according to his requirement it can collect that information whatever the information he or she is in requirement so it is a data collected by the investigator himself or herself for a specific purpose isn't it um the person who is collecting the data it may depends uh, the data is been collected for the specific purpose only um for example i want to have uh, to know about the people who who are in my friend circle that they, they want to visit which kind of place they want they are preferring the hill stations or they are preferring to go to the, uh, the to the places who are very much uh, um, close to the uh, to the um, with measurement is close to the hills of course like the hill stations we can move on or it may be the mythological places where uh, they are dealing with the temples only so definitely the investigator know what is their problem statement the researchers know what is the problem statement and so he will apply um certain methods to collect that data or maybe directly with he or she can collect the data as per the requirement of the problem statement so data gathered by finding out first hand the attitudes of the community towards health services ascertaining the health needs of a community evaluating a social program determining the job satisfaction of the employees of organization and as ascertaining the quality of the service provided by a worker are the examples of the primary data so this line is representing the number of different examples of the primary data that means the first example is first hand attitudes of the community towards the health services first of all ascertaining the health needs of the community is the second example evaluating a social program is the third example and determining the job satisfaction of the employees of an organization and ascertaining the quality of the service provided by worker are the examples of the primary data so i hope you are get cleared about the primary data definition so what are the advantages of the primary data the investigator collects data specific to the problem under the study of course there is no doubt about the quality of the data collected because it is face to face communication it is a direct communication between the people it may vary as uh, the price of the um the price of the um of course um the uh, the price of the of course uh, the data will get increased day by day as uh, it will get more expensive if it is giving you the fruitful results is it so investigator will depends uh, uh, the advantages is, is the researcher or the investigator 
clearly know that that what kind of uh, problem uh, he or she is facing uh, for the for the collection of that data so there is no doubt about the quality of the data collected of course quality we doesn't uh, say any issue because uh, it is a uh, it is a manual process and the testing has been done so we can uh, move on to the next one that is uh, if if required it may be possible to obtain additional data during the study period so sometimes if it is been required it may obtain the additional information additional data during the short duration so for the slight disadvantages of the primary data the investigator has to contend it with all the hazards of the data collection deciding why what how when to collect the first question of the answers is given by the uh, researcher or the investigator that is uh, the, the talking about the data collection method is the data deciding what how and how, how and when they are collected and uh, uh, next is getting the data collected of course data collection from each and individual person is very much uh, tough to collect getting funding and dealing with the funding agencies of course taking out the fundings of the data taking out the uh, dealings of that data is also a typical task for them then ethical consideration cons consent and permission etc has to be taken for any of the data if you are collecting isn't it ensuring the data collection is of high standard um so further it is saying that that the data collection is uh, can be done uh, to the to the personal also and through others also so that is also a disadvantage there is no specific purpose defined or declared that how the data can be uh, stored then getting funding and dealing with the funding agencies of course ethical consideration that is a concern and permission is also required by that ensuring the data collected is of high standard of course we are thinking about that that the all desired data is obtained accurately and in the format it is required in there is no fake or cooked up data of course unnecessary and useless data has not been included so the cost of obtaining data is often the major expenses in the studies because of course if we talk about the primary data face to face communication has been done so that will increase the um the fees of the person individually and also of course um um some um now we will move on to the secondary data part what is secondary data it refers to the data which has already been collected for a certain purpose and documented somewhere else isn't it data collected by someone else for some other purpose but being utilized by the investigator for another purpose is your secondary data so as the name reveals secondary data it, it has already been collected or for a certain purpose and documented somewhere else so the uh, the data collected by someone else for some other purposes is your secondary data being utilized by the investigator for some other another purpose you have collected the data uh, you have collected all the attributes value but at that time you doesn't need all the attribute values you are using some values and rest of the values may be utilized by at some other point gathering information with the use of census data to obtain information on the age sex structure of the population the use of hospital records to find out the morbidity and mortality patterns of the community the use of the organization records to ascertain its activities and historical and other types of informations are examples of secondary data talking about the advantages the data is already there no hassles less of data the collection and it is also less expensive as comparison to the previous method the investigator is not necessarily not personally responsible for the quality of the data of course the investigator is not at all personally responsible for the quality of the data talking about the disadvantage the investigator cannot decide what is collected 
the if the specific data about some something is required for instance so the investigator cannot uh, declare that at how much time the data will be having for collecting of our uh, data one can only hope the data is of good quality we cannot have a fixed point but yes we can say that it's of good quality obtaining additional data about something is not possible so thank you so much for visiting this lecture